Look at him. Ah! Oh! is on. This is just like, oh my heart. Now, when you watched All Stars back up to the point where you watched, uh, <laughs> would you, you, did you see more emotion from Manila than you saw in real life? Did you see less? I mean, because we, we as the audience got the deep uh, feelings and, you know, all of that when she even had to consider yeah. whether she was going to eliminate you. It, uh, it was the ugly cry moment of the season. It was so emotional. Um, it were so many layers of um, things that were, like, at stake. You know, the, like, she was trying to redeem herself. She was trying to save me, first and foremost. She was like, uh, it was just a big, it was an emotional moment. And, um, yeah, we both ugly cried. And I definitely felt the love from her. And um, she was gutted. She, she, I can feel that she was gutted and heartbroken that she couldn't save me. I wasn't worried about it. I was okay. You know what I mean? I was okay either which way with the decision. Um, but she took it really hard. She took it really, really hard. And seeing it back, I was just like, wow. And the girls told me when I came back, they were like, girl, <laughs> Manila melted down over you, girl. I was like, what? Really? And I didn't know all what happened. Right. You know? And then I saw it, I was like, oh shit, okay. But there was a lot of layers to it, and I understand why, what was at stake for her and what she mm -hmm. was trying to do, and so, but that just goes to show that's love and friendship. And then they try to spin it and make it look like I was happy when she left. Right. Come on, bitches, come get real with it. That, that doesn't even make sense. She made yeah. jokes, and I laughed at it. Yeah. She's funny. When, uh, when Naomi gave her the <laughs> quite brutal chop, what was your take? Now, you want to know the tea? Yes, I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, you know, you have the little deliberation. Yeah. Okay. Well, first of all, I didn't expect Manila to be in the bottom. I didn't know who was going to be in the bottom with me, but I did not expect it to be Manila. But then I thought about it like, all oh, right, it's that episode. They have to put Latrilla in the bottom. Right, of course. We all. Yeah. Come on, now. You've seen this You've before. Seen this shit you lived it. You know it. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, all right, this is that moment. And so, um, but what I didn't know was that while I was gone, the girls had had a different experience of Manila than, of course, I had mm. because Manila's on my side. I love right, her. Right, yeah. And she loves me. And so um, I guess Monet didn't let go of the fact that. Manila was gonna send her home regardless, mm -hmm. regardless, you know, that was just the way it was gonna go. And I guess Naomi didn't trust her either. There was a situation that happened, I guess, with them. And so, as, and I had saved Naomi the week before. So when I got back and we had sat down, the first thing that Naomi did was like, you have nothing to worry about. Um, you're fine. Uh, you had my back last week, you know, and I got you this week and blah, 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 blah. And I was just like, oh, Oh, of course, production wants you to do the whole crying, <laughs> yeah. begging thing. And so we had to do that for the camera. And then when Monet came over, she was like, girl, you have nothing to worry about. I, oh. I was just like, wow. oh, OK. And so I was just sitting there like, what had happened? She said, like, yeah, I don't forget. I'm petty. Da, da, da. And I was just uh. like, oh. <laughs> so yeah, that's a little beside <laughs> tea on that. But de -de 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 Look at her. Stunning. Ah Stunning. <laughs> America. Um, <laughs> let's talk about Monique because this is something that, like, you know, I connected with her like before the show, and I knew she was going to be on the show. And we connected. She came to the show, uh, uh, one of the Christmas tour shows, and uh, we met then. And um, but beyond that, during filming, we were. Bitch, you know, that's my buddy, honey. We we rendezvous, take a little walk together. Oh, okay, you know, yes, yes. Walk yes. in nature, you know. Uh -huh. Come on, Tammy Brown. <laughs> um, but moreover, uh, she my crab-eating buddy, honey. The bitch, will oh, I yeah? tell you? Oh, yeah. We come here and we go over to the, uh, what is the hot and juicy crawfish. Oh, yeah. Y'all know it, Where honey. you get your bag yes, on the trail? Yes, yeah. baby, honey. And that was my buddy. We were working on a project together. 
And uh, we went like three times in one week. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Whoever the hostess was is like, uh, she I knew keep, us. Getting, oh, I keep yeah. getting the stars. She knew who we was. She saw us coming. Get our table ready, girl. Uh -huh. Extra butter and napkin. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me uh, about the, the double lip sync, the end, like, what did you say to each other before? What, what was like after and the experience? You said during the main show that you were like, let's put on a show. Yeah. Um, I th the, the funny thing was though, you know how you had to pick the boxes of the song? Uh huh. You know? And oh, right, yeah. Was, that was the part. Well, I don't think she got a chance to pick because she got what was left over. Mm -hmm. And we were both back there as watching it as everybody was picking their boxes and we're like, just anything but this song. Ooh, let's, ooh, let's hope we get um, um, to see that walk. You right. know? And we both were just like, yeah, cause we can do this, we can do that. And so we were holding hands back there, just kind of like hoping the whole time. And then sure enough, we knew that was the only song left. We were like, okay, girl, let's do this. You ready to do this? She goes, I'm ready, mom. I said, all right, let's give them a show. <laughs> and that was what we did. And, you know, we got done and we knew we turned it and she, it was a double save. And like at first, I didn't know what was happening, and I was just kind of like, "This was one of those moments that I know, because I can see what she was doing, mm. and I can see, I knew what I was doing." Yeah. And so you can just feel the energy that we were bouncing off each other, and the judges and the the staff was going crazy, and I was like, "Oh, this is gonna be that moment where yeah, we gonna both be here, yeah. we gonna be good, girl," and and it worked out. It was cute. Now, Monique went from one season pretty much right into the other. Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever talk about the intensity of that type of preparation that she or is like kind of a new off. girl? Yeah. yeah or yeah. like they're up. Yeah. yeah. Um, but like that, that was my experience with All Stars 1. Like I went straight from one season right into that. Right. And Drag You. I filmed all three within eight months. Wow. And it was a lot of, it was a lot. And I, I about ne nearly had a nervous breakdown. I was mm. on the phone with Chris McKim at the time. He was executive producer. I was just like, I can't do this. I'm not going to be able to make it. And he was like, calm down. You're going to be okay. I'm like, I can't do this. I was like, <laughs> But they came in, her and um, Mo Monet, Monique and Monet both came in with conviction of I have something to prove mm. and I was I went home on the on the wonky way and I want to show that I'm better than this and they both did and I didn't expect to see that much growth that fast yeah. and I was very proud and very pleased because I was like y'all are the dark horses <laughs> you're like for real y'all came up in here you had a lot at stake mm -hmm. because, and you didn't have much time to prep and you turned it and so yeah Good for her. Yeah, they did. It's they both stressed. really did. Very, 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 very well commended. Like, I commend both of them for, for having done it. Look at her. It's her. Valentina. Valentina. Okay. <laughs> this, okay, that, that, that episode. Right, you had to eliminate Valentina. That episode. I felt like I was rooted from the beginning. Mm. Because I was like, okay, I come back, great. Win the episode, yay! Valentina's in the bottom. Mm. So it was a really big, like we had talked on Work the World. We had plans. We we're going to be in the top four together. We, like the love for that girl that I have, I, like if you don't know her and haven't got to know her intimately, you don't get it. You think mm -hmm. she's full of herself. But she puts herself in a place that nobody can hurt her. Mm. And I love that. I love it. I love the fact that she's in the control of her fantasy and she's living it. And this is her world. You can come in, but if you start making shit, you gotta go. Uh -huh. And she's just that girl and nothing really gets to her. And so um, she's so beautiful, so polished and, and she has a heart of gold. And another one that's misunderstood from people who don't get her, mm -hmm. um, but I love me some Valentina, and it gutted me. It literally gutted me to have to send her home. But I do have integrity, and friendship is friendship, but I couldn't very well send her, or keep her, knowing that she didn't do the challenge. Mm -hmm. I was there, I saw the breakdown, I saw what happened. Right. I saw her meltdown, and Naomi had to pick up the pieces. So I couldn't send Naomi home for, for actually saving them so they can have something to present. Right. So, Club 90. <laughs> what is one thing about Valentina that we might not know? Um, I mean, she's an open book, but like, 
I don't know. What don't you know about her? She tells you everything. She doesn't eat and drag. <laughs> oh, that's something. <laughs> but she definitely does not. She <laughs> she cringes at the sight of food and drag. It doesn't mix. It doesn't go with her fantasy. Uh -huh. How dare you bring that to me? Like she is not having it. Um, and um, but no, other than that, everyone knows that she's always late. Oh, right. Yeah, that's common <laughs> knowledge. But she did get really, she got much better towards the end of Work the Rock, uh -huh. and she got close to being almost on time. Well, that's a, that's that's a progress. Right? We've heard her progress reports here <laughs> on Hey Queen again and again, so I'm happy to see yes, that she's moving, she's moving forward. forward <laughs> okay. <laughs>